First thing you want to understand is that this portion of the blade and this portion of the blade, when you put them together, most people think that they are flat and they go back and forth flat. So imagine that these two are the two blades laying on each other flat. On a very microscopic level, this and this is actually not flat, going back and forth. What you have on a microscopic level at the very tip is the curved. It's a curve there. And then this blade that lays on top of that blade has a curve in it so what happens is they have a curve on each side and they go back and forth like that the question is why because if they are completely flat and the tips don't touch tight enough they won't cut they won't cut hair so they make them so that they are tight at the tip and when we put the pressure these two come across each other extremely tight and cut here so why are we saying that is that if you're going to sharpen this blade you have to make sure when you sharpen this blade you don't make it completely flat you got to put the curve back in it so that the tip of the teeth and the tip of the teeth here go back and forth tight. And that's a lot of times why when people sharpen blades flat, they lose that tip pressure. And in the tip, there is no tip pressure. Therefore, the blade snag when they go back and forth. So how are we going to do that? That's called step two. So step two is when you understand what to do when you want to sharpen your blade. So this right here is a sanding block I got from the dollar store. It's called Two Tech Paint Sanding Block Sandpaper. I paid a dollar and 25 cents for it. You could probably look it up online or you could probably go to a dollar store and purchase this. So the reason why is this is made pretty cheap. But it ha it's easy for you to do sharpen your blades at home. So what do you want to do? So you want to open this up. They give you a bunch of strips of sandpaper. And they give you a block. But this block opens up and allows you to put sandpaper on the curved side and sandpaper on the flat side. Because I'm going to show you how to sand this 
the sand the blade to get them sharp again, but put the curve back in the blade so that they don't chew here when you're done. They actually cut. So what you want to do is you open this up for your flat side. You go ahead and install. Put it here. Put pressure on the paper. Pull it around. Make sure you pull it tight and then put pressure on this side. Okay, both sides, sit that down. Now you're gonna take you another strip. They give you a bunch of strips, man. For a dollar, boy, this is the best purchase I ever had for a dollar. Anyway, so now you're gonna take this piece, you're gonna bend it here and pull it tight and bend it here. And now you're gonna take and you're gonna, cause these two holes snaps and these two holes snap into these two holes. So you're gonna bend it here and then you're gonna go ahead and snap it in place. So you got yourself snapped in place. Now here's the thing you wanna do. Because we know you wanna get yourself a magnet once you to hold your blade. Now, because we already understand that this is not totally flat, it looks flat, but on a microscopic level, it got a little bent. So what you want to do is, you want to first, knowing you want to sharpen this, you want to get your bend in there. So because, make sure it's nice and tight and snap in place. Okay. So because this have a curve in it, you can sharpen this blade on a curve. So you, when you pull it back on a curve, keeping the blade flat, now you causing the blade. Make sure you tight, you flat, you put even pressure on both sides of the blade, and you slide back even. And what you're doing is putting that bend back into the blade. Okay? So you're going to sharpen the blade, but you're putting that bend back into the blade. So you do it a bunch of times. I say at least 20, 25, 30 times. Straighten up. Do it some more. Now once you cut that blade and get a nice shine there. You turn the blade over and now this is flat. You already got your curve in there. Now you can go ahead and softly flatten and soft sharpen. And this way you can really sharpen that blade. Now if you have your liner blades, matter of fact, let me do this first. Your, your cutter blade, you do the exact same thing. You go to the curve side. You might want to put the magnet on and then put your finger in the front, keep the pressure in the front of the blade. And as you can see, it's curved. And you want to do that, like I said, 25, 30, 35, 40 strokes. And then after you do that, now you want to go on the flat side and nice and even and flat. Go ahead now and sharpen the blade. And once you sharpen this blade like this, that allows you to now go ahead and sharpen it flat but you don't lose that bevel curve inside the blade. Now, you take this liner blade and you do the exact same thing. On the curved side. And trust me, 
You do it enough times so you can get a nice curve in there. And then turn it around, and now you can flat sharpen it. So if you do 35, 40 strokes over here, you do get yourself a couple strokes in over here. And now you can sharpen the blade without losing that deep curve in the blade. Now, for the cutter portion of the blade, you do the exact same thing. Because it's smaller, it might slide around, so you might have to put your index finger right here. You might have to take your time. It might take you a little longer, but you get the curve into it first. Once you get the curve into the blade, now you take and you get your flat sharpening. That smooths it out so that you can still have that nice deep curve in the blade. So once you're done, that's step three. We're going to show you step three. But now imagine these two blades are done. And what you've created is a nice tight blade with some curves in it. And when they go back and forth, they cut tight at the teeth. Step three is cleaning the blade. I showed you in the past blade boost, but you also can use WD-40. What you want to do is you see that look that that's that little sand paper powder you want to get that off so you spray the blade with a little oil and then you take a paper towel and you get all that grit off the blade make sure you clean it really good and then let it dry and keep using the clean portions or keep moving the blade around to a clean portion of the paper towel same thing with the big blade Spray that down. Use a brand new piece of paper towel for each blade so that you don't have no contamination. So you get that grit off and you get it clean. Same with the cutter. That's pretty much how you want to sharpen your blade so that you don't lose the curve in the blade and you want to make sure the grit is clean because if you leave any grit on that blade what you're going to do is end up grinding the blade out immediately when you put them back on the clipper and they go back and forth they'll burn out real fast and start getting dull and pulling here so you want to make sure they're nice and clean all right so that will complete how you sharpen your blade at home any questions give us a call or send us a message. We're going to conclude with some music by putting his blues back in the barn. Oh.